order. I would ask everyone to stand and remain standing. First, we will have the invocation followed by the Pledge of Allegiance. Tonight's invocation is being offered by Aman Mohammed Ahmed of the Islamic Center of Nashville. He is the guest of Council Member Ronnie Stein. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. In the name of God, the most compassionate, the most merciful, we pray to you to guide us to the right path the path of those who you guided, الذين أنعمت عليهم, O Allah, O our Lord, make us light upon light and bless us day and night, and make us a light for humanity and for everyone. Amen. Without objection, we'll suspend the calling of the roll and ask the clerk to record the names of the members present throughout the meeting. Is there a motion for adoption of our minutes of our October 4th, 2011 meeting? Without any objection, the minutes will stand approved as written. Madam Clerk, are there any messages from the mayor? No, ma'am, there are no messages from the mayor. Thank you. Uh, on your desk, there is a letter describing the process for uh, filling the vacancy of Judge Leon Rubin. October the 25th is the deadline for nominations to be received in the Metro Clerk's Office. Uh, those who have uh, qualified and submitted the paperwork will receive a certified letter to appear before the Rules Committee on November the 1st. And then the election will take place in the council meeting on November the 15th. We are now at the point on our agenda for the election of President Pro Tem. Does anyone wish to be recognized? Council Member Claiborne. Thank you, Vice Mayor. Uh, I stand uh, to nominate uh, Council Lady Karen Bennett for the uh, pro tem position. Uh, Council Lady Bennett has uh, served uh, one term in the council, uh, entering her second term. She has previously served as the chairman of the Public Safety Committee, serves as co-chair of Transportation and Aviation. She's had uh, various leadership roles uh, in the community, uh, including board member and chairman of the Freedom Farm Animal Sanctuary, served as chairman of the Northeast Nashville Coalition, president of the Capitol View Neighbors. She's taken an active role in leadership in the council over the last four years, and I think she would be an excellent choice to guide us through uh, her term as Speaker Pro Tem. And I encourage you to uh, vote for Council Lady Karen Bennett. We have a motion. Is there a second? second. Uh, council Member Bennett, do you wish to say anything? I'd just like to take the opportunity to thank this council. I've enjoyed serving with you the last four years. I think uh, Pro Tem is a very strong responsibility that we work together and stay together as a team to represent Nashville in our districts. And I appreciate your support. Thank you. Thank you. Council Member Stanley. Thank you. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to uh, nominate uh, for President Pro Tem uh, Council Lady Erica Gilmore. She has uh, played a, uh, a v active role in the Metro Council and in the governing of our city over the last uh, four years, and she's already entering her second term on the council. I'm very appreciative of her activity and her experience that she's obtained during those four years, and I would ask for your support at this time. I have a motion and a second. Council Member Gilmore, do you wish to say anything? Yes, I do. Thank you, Vice Mayor. I would just like to ask my colleagues uh, for their support, for their vote. Uh, the President Pro Tem is a wonderful opportunity 
uh, to hold the council together, to officiate uh, the meetings in the absence of the mayor, and also to hold uh, the time for announcements. I do not take the responsibility lightly. I think those that have gone before me, such as Councilman Hunt and Co Councilman McGuire, who did an awesome job. And so with that, I would ask uh, for your vote. I've been the chair of the Federal Grants Committee. I've also held national positions at the National League of Cities, where I have been the chair of the University Councils Committee, and also I sit on the Young Families Institute Committee for the National League of Cities and just um, received the National Fellowship Leadership Award, which allows me to attend all events at the National League of Cities um, under a stipend to for, um, further develop my leadership skills. I look forward to working with each of you. I respect each of you, and I would greatly appreciate your vote. Thank you so much. Thank you. This will be a machine vote. If you are voting for Council Member Bennett, you will press your green button. If you are voting for Council Member Gilmore, you will press your red button. Bennett is green, Gilmore is red. Madam Clerk. Bennett, 17. Gilmore, 18. Congratulations, Council Member Gilmore. Um, we're now at, uh, at the point of uh, accepting nominations for Council Members to serve on the Audit Committee for a two-year term. Are there any nominations? Councilman Garrett. Madam Vice Mayor, I would uh, nominate Council Member Steve Glover. Is there a second? Second. Are there other nominations? Council Member Bedning. I would like to nominate uh, Council Lady Jacobia Dow. We have a motion and a second. Are there others? Thank you. Council Member Garrett. Move you, Madam Vice Mayor, that the uh, nomination cease and we uh, vote by acclamation. Okay, we have a motion that we accept the two nominees, <laughs> Council Member Glover and Council Member Dow. Dow, Dow sorry, I'm drawing a blank. Uh, by acclamation, we have a motion and a second. All in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed, no. Congratulations. We now have one vacancy to fill on the Health and Educational Facilities Board. Are there any nominations? Council Member Tenpenny. Thank you, Vice Mayor. I'd like to nominate Huey Newberry for the uh, position of Health and Educational Facilities Board. Second. Any other nominations? Is there a motion that we accept the nomination for act by acclamation? Oh, I'm sorry. I am so wrong. We have to consider it at the next meeting. We just have the nomination tonight. No other nominations? Okay, nominations are closed. Um, nominations for the Industrial Development Board. Council Member Matthews. Thank you, Madam Vice Mayor. I would like to nominate uh, for reappointment Attorney Rachel Bell. Okay. Council Member Allen. Thank you, Vice Mayor. I'd like to nominate Ginger Hauser. Council Member Harmon. Thank you, Vice Mayor. I would like to nominate Richard L. Fulton. Council Member Maynard. Thank you, Vice Mayor. I'd like to nominate Sharon Hurt. Thank you. Council Member Johnson. Thank you, Vice Mayor. I'd like to nominate J.R. Andy Harrell. Council Member Stanley. 
Vice Mayor, I'd like to uh, nominate Colonel Robert Whitworth. Thank you. Council Member Glover. Thank you, Vice Mayor. I'd like to nominate Garrick Smith. Thank you. Council Member Stein. I'd like to nominate Gray Sasser. Okay. Any other nominations? Okay, nominations are closed and we will vote on these at our next meeting. Okay, Council Member Stein, do you have reports from the Rules Committee? I do. We had we saw lots of wonderful people this evening. The first um, is the first time appointment to the Arts Commission, Mr. Matt Fisher. The committee interviewed him and voted eight for none against to recommend, and I would move his approval. Second. Have a motion and a second. All in favor, please say aye. Aye. Opposed, no. Motion passes. The committee interviewed three reappointments to the Convention Center Authority. The first is Ms. Vonda McDaniel, and the committee voted 9 for none against to recommend, and I so move. Second. Have a motion and a second. All in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed, no. Motion passes. On the reappointment of Mr. William McDonald, the committee voted 9 for none against to recommend, and I so move. Second. Have a motion and a second. All in favor, please say aye. Opposed, no. The committee moved 9-4 um, and none against um, to approve the reappointment of former council member Leo Waters, and I so move. Have a motion and a second. All in favor, please say aye. aye. Opposed, no. We interviewed several new nominees for the Historical Commission. The first is Mr. Clay Bailey III. The committee voted 8-4, none against to recommend, and I so move. Have a motion and a second. All in favor, please say aye. aye. Opposed, no. The committee voted 8-4, none against, to recommend former council member Jim Forkham to the Historical Commission, and I so move. Second. Have a motion and a second. All in favor, please say aye. Aye. Opposed, no. The committee voted 9-4, none against, to recommend Ms. Lynn McDonald to the Historical Commission, and I so move. Second. Have a motion and a second. All in favor, please say aye. Aye. Opposed, no. The committee voted 9-4, none against, to recommend Mr. Mark Rogers to the Historical Commission, and I so move. Have a motion and a second. All in favor, please say aye. Aye. Opposed, no. Motion the, passes. The committee moved, um, the committee voted to uh, recommend 9-4, none against, Ms. Jerry Searcy for a new appointment to the Historical Commission, and I so move. Have a motion and a second. All in favor, please say aye. aye. Opposed, no. Ms. Holly Sharp could not be here this evening. She's a reappointment, and that will be deferred until the first meeting in November. The committee also interviewed for the Planning Commission a new appointee. Um, former council member Mr. Greg Atkins is recommended by the committee 9-4 and none against, and I so move. Have a motion and a second. All in favor, please say aye. aye. Opposed, no. Motion passes. For the Social Service Commission, the committee interviewed Mr. Renard Francois and voted 9-4, none against, to recommend, and I so move. Have a motion and a second. All in favor, please say aye. Aye. Opposed, no. Also for the Social Service Commission, the committee interviewed former council member Christine Lalone and unanimously recommend 9-0, her appointment to the Social Service Commission. Have a motion and a second. All in favor, please say aye. Aye. Opposed, no. For the Board of Zoning Appeals, a new appointee, Mr. David Taylor. The committee voted 9-4, none against, to recommend approval, and I so move. Have a motion and a second. All in favor, please say aye. aye. Opposed, no. Motion passes. And Madam Vice Mayor, if I might have one moment, the committee, the Rules Committee will meet um, to consider all of the recommendations for our rules on October 25th here. It's obviously open to all members of the Council for that discussion, um, and we hope at that meeting to finalize a report that will be forwarded on to the Council to adopt permanent rules at our November 1st meeting. Thank you. Thank you. When I call your name, please stand and remain standing. Uh, Matt Fisher. Fonda McDaniel, William McDonald, Leo Waters, Clay Bailey, Jim Forkham, Lynn McDonald, Mark Rogers, Jerry Searcy, Greg Atkins, Renaud Francois, Christine Lalone, and David Taylor.
On behalf of the Metropolitan Council, thank you for your willingness to serve our city and give us your time and expertise. Thank you. Next on our agenda is RS 2011-15, approves an extension to a lease agreement between First Cal Industrial II Acquisition LLC and Metro Government for certain real property known as 621 Mainstream Drive. Councilmember McGuire. Thank you, Vice Mayor. Committee report. Councilmember Claiborne. Um, I beg your uh, pardon if you'd repeat. 2011-15. 2011-15, uh, I'm sorry. Uh, the uh, Planning and Zoning Committee uh, uh, voted to approve 10-4-0 against. Councilmember McGuire. Thank you, Vice Mayor. The Budget and Finance Committee voted to approve as amended 11-4, none against. Uh, and I would move approval. Do I, need, do I need to move the amendment first? Yes, move the amendment. I would move the amendment, please. We have a motion and a second on the amendment. Councilman Duvall, do you wish to discuss the amendment? Not on the amendment. Okay, all in favor of the amendment, please say aye. Aye. Opposed, no. Amendment passes. Move is approved, please. We have a motion and a second um, on the bill as amended. Council Member Duvall. Uh, yes, thank you, uh, Madam Chairman. Um, Mr. Cooper, I was reading in your analysis uh, that the council office would point out that the lease am, um, amendment includes limitations of liability not particularly favorable uh, to Metro. The agreement provides that the liability of the landlord will be limited solely to the landlord's interest in the building and neither the landlord nor any of its uh, partners would have any personal liability. What does that expose Metro to uh, from that standpoint? Well, the, the amendment that that the council just added onto the bill actually removes the language regarding the limitation of liability. So if if the resolution is approved um, with the amendment, then that won't be an issue. Thank you, sir. Seeing no other discussion, all in favor, please say aye. Opposed, no. Motion passes. RS 2011-42 supplements certain prior resolutions by authorizing the issuance of Series 2011 electric system revenue bonds and revenue refunding bonds. Council Member Hunt. Thank you, Madam President. Uh, committee report, please. Council Member McGuire. Budget and Finance voted to approve 11-4, none against. Council Member Hunt. Move for approval, please. Have a motion and a second. Council Member Evans, did you wish to be recognized? Thank you, Madam Chair. I apologize. Um, I need to uh, be recorded as an abstention. So noted. All in favor, please say aye. Aye. Opposed, no. Motion passes. RS 2011-43 confirms the uh, apportionment of special assessments for the proposed Biltmore Ridges mixed-use development in Bellevue. Council Member McGuire. Thank you, Vice Mayor. Budget and Finance voted to approve 11-4, none against, and I would move approval. Have a motion and a second. All in favor, please say aye. aye. Opposed, no. Motion passes. RS 2011-44 approves an amendment to an agreement between Metro Government and Nashville Biltmore LP pertaining to the widening and relocation of three ramps at interchange of I-40 with Macquarie Lane in the Bellevue area. Council Member McGuire. Thank you, Vice Mayor. Committee reports, please. Councilman Hunt. Okay, we're 44. Yes, uh, budget and, I mean, I'm sorry. Uh, public Works approved 940 against. Council Member McGuire. Thank you, Vice Mayor. Budget and Finance voted to approve 11 4, none against, and I move approval. We have a motion and a second. Council Member Duvall. Thank you again, uh, Madam Chairman. Uh, There's a two pointed question for Mr. Cooper. When I uh, read the analysis, it says the amendment also waives the developer's obligation to provide the letter of credit as long as the special assessment financing proceeds together with any reimbursements. That original irrevocable letter of credit was for $4.3 million. Uh, what does that do 
or does it have any impact or bearing on Metro withstanding any liability or any cost? At the time the original contract was approved, that letter of credit was requirement was put in to protect Metro to ensure that the funds would be available for the project to cover the developer's match. Uh, given the council's action at the last meeting regarding the special assessment, um, those funds will be used to cover the developer's portion of the project cost. Metro still will have no liability, but this will just take the place of the um, letter of credit. Okay, you also stated that further the amendment provides that Metro can use the special assessment financing proceeds to pay the developer for the necessary right of way for the project. Is this money, this tax money, going to be set aside in a in a in a pot that's that Metro's gen, will not go into general funds and cannot be touched if if the if the developer fails? Because as I I'm what I'm concerned about is I had a lot of bankrupt subdivisions, and now Metro's having to pay for a lot of those streets and sidewalks and all of those kind of things, and I do not want to see us 18 months, 24 months, 30 months down the road finding ourselves with a great big hole here. Well, the, the way this deal will work is the Industrial Development Board, assuming it approves the deal, will issue the bonds to cover the, the cost of the improvements. Uh, the proceeds from the special assessment will be used to pay the debt service on the bonds. So um, it's kind of, instead of the developer paying for all of the infrastructure costs on the front end, the special assessment funds will be used to do that, and then the debt will be paid over time with the special assessment funds. So again, there's no, Metro will not be on the hook for any of it. Okay, so it's kind of like a pay as we go well, type process the, or not? The, the, the project is being paid all up front with the, it, it's kind of like taking out a, a loan to pay for the improvements. And so the Industrial Development Board will issue the bonds. The proceeds of those bonds will be used to cover the construction costs. And then over time, that debt will be paid back from the special assessment funds that will be passed through from Metro to the Industrial Development Board. So it's, it's not any, any Metro tax money that will be used. Okay, thank you, sir. All in favor, please say aye. Aye. Opposed, no. 2011-44 passes. 2011-45 authorizes Metro Water Services to enter into a contract with the Hendersonville Utility District for the acceptance and treatment of its sewage flow. Council Member Hunt. Committee reports, please. Council Member McGuire. Budget and finance voted to approve as amended 11-4, none against. Council Member Hunt. Public works approved 9-4-0 against, and I move for approval. The substitute. Substitute. We have a motion okay. for approval of the substitute, substitute and a second. All in favor, please say aye. aye. Opposed, no. Councilman Hunt. This substitute bill is... John, would you do that because I think it's between the district and Hendersonville, there's a distinction between the two? Right. This is just a housekeeping um, substitute to clarify that the contract is with the utility district, not the city of Hendersonville. And I'd like to move the bill as substituted. have a motion and a second. All in favor, please say aye. Aye. Opposed, no. Uh, 2011-45 passes. 2011-46 approves an application for a state recycling rebate grant for the benefit of the Department of Public Works. Council Member Hunt. Committee report, please. Council Member McGuire. Budget and finance voted to approve 11-4, none against. Council Member Hunt. Public Works approve 9-4-0 against, and I move for approval. Have a motion and a second. Seeing no discussion, all in favor, please say aye. aye. Opposed, no. Motion passes. RS 2011-47 approves an application for a state grant to construct sidewalks along Dick Dickerson Pike. Council Member Davis. Thank you, thank you Madam Chair. Um, the committee voted 9-4, none against. Councilman Hunt. Uh, Public Works voted 9-4-0 against. Council Member McGuire. Budget and Finance voted to approve 11-4, none against. Council Member Davis. Um, I move for approval. Have a motion and a second. Seeing no discussion, all in favor please say aye. aye. Opposed, no. Motion passes. 
RS 2011-48 approves an application for a state grant to construct sidewalks along Lebanon Pike. Council Member Claiborne. Thank you, Vice Mayor. Uh, committee reports, please. Council Member Hunt. Public Works approved 940 against. Council Member McGuire. Budget Finance approved 114 none against. Council Member Claiborne. I would move for approval. Second. Have a motion and a second. All in favor, please say aye. Aye. Opposed, no. Motion passes. RS 2011-49 approves an agreement between the State Department of Transportation and Metro Public Works Department to, con to construct pedestrian enhancements along Harding Place. Council Member Harmon. Thank you, Vice Mayor. Committee reports, please. Council Member Hunt. Public Works approved 940 against. Council Member McGuire. Budget and Finance approved 114 none against. Council Member Harmon. I would move for approval. Have a motion and a second. All in favor, please say aye. Opposed, no. Motion passes. RS 2011-50 authorizes an application to request a subzone status with Manufacturing Authority for Delta Fawcett Company of Tennessee as part of Foreign Trade Zone Number 78. Council Member McGuire. Thank you, Vice Mayor. Budget and Finance voted to approve 11-4, none against, and I move approval. Have a motion and a second. All in favor, please say aye. aye. Opposed, no. Motion passes. RS 2011-51 approves an interlocal agreement between Metro Government and the Emergency Communication District relative to operation of an enhanced 9-11 service. Council Member McGuire. Uh, thank you, Vice Mayor. Committee reports, please. Council Member Stites. Public safety voted 6-4-0 against. Thank you. Council Member McGuire. Budget and Finance voted to approve 11-4, none against, and I move approval. Have a motion and a second. All in favor, please say aye. aye. Opposed, no. Motion passes. RS 2011-52 accepts a grant from the U.S. Department of Justice to the Metro Police Department for the Gang Resistance Education and Training Program. Council Member McGuire. Thank you, Vice Mayor. Committee reports, please. Council Member Stites. Public safety voted 6-4-0 against. Council Member McGuire. Budget and Finance voted to approve 11-4, none against, and I move approval. Have a motion and a second. All in favor, please say aye. Aye. Opposed, no. Motion passes. RS 2011-53 approves a grant from the U.S. Department of Justice to the Metro Police Department for technology purchases and to enhance the advanced records management system. Council Member McGuire. Thank you, Vice Mayor. Committee reports, please. Council Member Stites. Public safety voted 6-4-0 against. Council Member McGuire. Budget and Finance voted to approve 11-4, none against, and I move approval. Have a motion and a second. All in favor, please say aye. Aye. Opposed, no. Motion passes. RS 2011-54 approves an amendment to a federal grant from the U.S. Department of Homeland Security to the Metro Fire Department for equipment to enhance the safety of firefighting personnel against fire and fire-related hazards. Council Member McGuire. Thank you, Vice Mayor. Committee reports, please. Council Member Seitz. Public safety voted 6-4-0 against. Council Member McGuire. Budget and Finance voted to approve 11-4, none against, and I move approval. Have a motion and a second. All in favor, please say aye. aye. Opposed, no. Motion passes. RS 2011-55 approves an application for a federal assistance grant from the U.S. Department of Homeland Security to the Metro Fire Department. Council Member McGuire. Thank you, Vice Mayor. Committee reports, please. Council Member Seitz. Public safety voted 6-4-0 against. Council Member McGuire. Budget and Finance voted to approve 11-4, none against, and I move approval. Have a motion and a second. All in favor, please say aye. Aye. Opposed, no. Motion passes. RS 2011-56 appropriates additional grant funds from the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services to the Metro Action Commission to support the Head Start program. Council Member Langster. Thank you, Vice Mayor. Committee reports, please. Council Member McGuire. Budget and Finance voted to approve 11-4, none against. Council Member Langster. Health and Hospital and Social Service voted to approve 5-4-0 against and move for approval. Have a motion and a second. All in favor, please say aye. Aye. Opposed, no. Motion passes. RS 2011-57 appropriates grant funds from the State Department of Human Services to the Metro Action Commission for low-income home energy assistance program services for eligible low-income customers. 
Council Member Langster. Thank you, Vice Mayor. Committee report, please. Council Member McGuire. Budget and finance voted to approve 11 4, none against. Council Member Langster. Thank you. Health, Hospital, and Social Service voted to approve 5 4, 0 against. Move for approval. Have a motion and a second. All in favor, please say aye. Aye. Opposed, no. Motion passes. RS 2011-58 appropriates grant funds from the State Department of Human Services to the Metro Action Commission to provide adult basic education to help achieve self-sufficiency. Councilmember Langster. Thank you, Vice Mayor. Uh, committee report, please. Councilmember McGuire. Budget and finance voted to approve 11 4, none against. Councilmember Langster. Thank you. Health, hospital, and social service voted to approve 5 4, 0 against. And I move for approval. We have a motion and a second. All in favor, please say aye. Aye. Opposed, no. Motion passes. RS 2011-59 approves a contract for services between the Metro Board of Health and the Corinthian Missionary Baptist Church to improve kitchen facilities in the church by purchasing new equipment and to develop and promote community gardens in North Nashville. Council Member Langster. Thank you. Committee report, please. Council Member McGuire. Budget and finance voted to approve as amended 12 4, none against. Council Member Langster. Thank you. Uh, Health, hospital, and social service voted to defer one meeting and move for approval, please. I move for approval. Did move to defer one meeting, okay. please. Okay, we have a motion to defer one meeting. Are you on the deferral, Councilman Tiger? Yeah, just a quick question for John. Once they develop this kitchen, if, if I went over there to attend a church service and to partake of a meal in the garden, could I legally do that under our rules now, under the ordinance now? Under the current ethics code, no. Thank you. We have a motion and a second for a one meeting deferral or two meetings. It would be to the second meeting in November. Second meeting in November. All in favor, please say aye. Aye. Opposed, no. Motion passes. RS 2011-60 accepts a grant from the State Department of Health to the Metro Board of Health to provide rapid HIV testing services to at-risk individuals in a clinical setting. Council Member Langster. Thank you, Vice Mayor. Committee report, please. Council Member McGuire. Budget and finance voted to approve 12-4, none against. Council Member Langster. Thank you. Health, hospital, and social service voted to approve 5 4 0 against, and I move for its approval. Have a motion and a second. All in favor, please say aye. aye. Opposed, no. Motion passes. RS 2011 61 approves an annual grant from the State Department of Health to the Metro Board of Health to provide nutritious food to low income clients. Vulnerable to insufficient nutrition. Council Member Langster. Thank you. Committee report. Council Member McGuire. Budget and finance voted to approve 12 4, none against. Council Member Langster. Health, hospital, and social service voted to approve 5 4, 0 against, and I move for its approval. We have a motion and a second. All in favor, please say aye. Aye. Opposed, no. Motion passes. RS 2011 62 approves a grant from the State Department of Health to the Metro Board of Health to provide nutrition, education, and services to eligible women, infants, and children and breastfeeding peer counseling programs for the citizens of Davidson County. Council Member Langster. Thank you. Committee report, please. Council Member McGuire. Budget and finance voted to approve 12 4, none against. Council Member Langster. Health, hospital, and social service voted to approve 5 4, 0 against, and I move for its approval. Have a motion and a second. All in favor, please say aye. aye. Opposed, no. Motion passes. Council Member McGuire, do you have a late filed resolution? Uh, yes, Mr. Vice Mayor, I do, um, and I would move for approval of that resolution. The, you have to move to suspend the rules and tell us the nature of the emergency. Um, I will move to suspend the rules. I am not quite certain of the nature of the emergency. If the, perhaps Attorney Cooper could help me with that. This grant uh, documentation was received after the filing deadline, and pursuant to the Department of Justice, it has to be approved tonight or uh, Metro will lose the funding. Is there any objection to a suspension of the rules? Seeing none, Councilman. Thank you, Vice Mayor. It is a resolution that approves a gang resistance education and training program grant 
from the U.S. Department of Justice to the Metro Police Department to provide life skills to students to help them avoid delinquent behavior and violence. Thank you, Vice Mayor. Budget and Finance voted to approve 12-4, none against. I move approval. We have a motion and a second. All in favor, please say aye. Aye. Opposed, no. Motion passes. We're now at bills on introduction and first reading. Is there a motion for their approval? All in favor, please say aye. aye. Opposed, no. Motion passes. We're now at bills on second reading. Uh, first one is BL 2011-1, amends the Metro Code to require the Board of Fair Commissioners to solicit proposals for the partial development of the fairgrounds as a theme park. Council Member Stanley. Thank you, Vice Mayor. Uh, committee reports, please. Council Member Maynard. Thank you, Vice Mayor. The Coast Committee voted, recommended the motion to withdraw and vote in favor of that 7-4-0 against. Thank you, Council Member Stanley. I make a motion to withdraw with a couple of brief comments. Second. We have a motion and a second. Council Member? Um, I have uh, amended to withdraw this proposal based upon the information I received from other council members, but I think it's important that everyone on this council understand that uh, what I and the entire city of Metropolitan Nashville and Davidson County has gone through with this stagnant piece of public property in downtown Nashville. Uh, I was on the council in 1997 when Gaylord opted to close Opryland USA theme park. When Gaylord closed Opryland USA theme park, the city lost millions of dollars in tourist revenue each year. And with that, it created a huge void in Nashville's economy. Now, I would like uh, to see Metro Nashville step up to the plate and replace that tourist revenue, that lost tourist revenue, with something that we can sink our teeth into and that can benefit the entire city, as well as the departments within the city. Um, in two, July 2007, when I was running for re-election re of Metro Council, I was interviewed by Gaylord officials. They informed me at that time that the closing of Opryland USA theme park was a big mistake. They never should have done that because Opry Mills Mall never met the projected $350 million of retail sales annually of which Metro Nashville was going to tax. And because Metro Nashville was unable to tax that non-existent uh, revenue, retail revenue, we didn't get any money from that site. I was hoping with the uh, uh, recent uh, flood of 2010 that Opryland would have reopened, that they would have said, forget Opry Mills, let's reopen Opryland USA theme park, but they didn't. They, stick, they stuck with Opry Mills. So I think now it's up to us, the city of Metro Nashville, to take advantage of this. I will say that uh, this fairground acreage is 105 years old. It's public land. And the city is set to make all the uh, money off that uh, use of that city, of that uh, land. It will be a beneficial use for the entire city. What's more, it will supplement the entertainment venues in the downtown area, including Ryman Auditorium, LP Field, Bridgestone Arena, Skirmhorn Symphony Center, the uh, Country Music Museum on Hall of Fame, and the new Music City Center and Hotel. That will benefit that. Um, I think it's important that we understand that this city has unused public land in its uh, coffers, and it needs to make money off that land. We have an obligation to the citizens of this city to provide revenue to allow the operation of this city on an annual basis. I think uh, one of the things I did was I researched this over the last uh, uh, eight, eight or ten months. One of the things I came up with was Oklahoma City has a uh, theme park called Frontier City. Uh, 
that they operate on 55 acres on state fairground land in Oklahoma City. It has 75 rides. It's been opened since 1958. It generates millions of dollars of revenue for that city. We have a situation out here where it's going to be about 65 acres. That's unused land. We need to open up a theme park on that land. That would be great for a theme park, and of course the theme would be Music City because that's what Nashville is known as, is Music City. I'm going to file a memorializing, non-binding resolution with this, uh, with the, the feed of this bill, with the withdrawal of this bill, because I want the city council to take a stand on this use of this property for the benefit of the entire city, including the resident citizens. Thank you. All in favor of the motion to defer, I mean to withdraw, please say aye. Aye. Opposed, no. Motion passes. RS 2011-2 amends the Metro Code to allow the $1 litigation tax on all cases in the general sessions and juvenile courts to be used for centers that handle victim offender mediation and other community mediation matters. Council Member McGuire. Thank you, Vice Mayor. At the request of the sponsor, Budget and Finance voted to defer one meeting and at her uh, voted 12-4, none against, for deferral of one meeting. And at her request, I would move deferral for one meeting. Is there a second? second. All in favor of a deferral, please say aye. aye. Opposed, no. Deferral uh, motion passes. Next is BL 2011-3 amends the Metro Code to allow recreational athletic fields and associated structures to be constructed within the floodway under certain conditions. Council Member Tiger. Thank you, Madam Chair. Committee reports. Councilman Hunt. Public Works Committee voted uh, for 11 4 0 against. Council Member Holloman. Parks Committee voted 6 in favor, 0 against. Thank you, Councilman Tiger. I would move to defer one meeting, please. We have a motion and a second. All in favor, please say aye. aye. Opposed, no. Motion passes. Next is BL 2011-4, amends the Metro Code to require quarterly stormwater reports to be submitted to the Metro Council. Council Member Stanley. Uh, thank you, Ms. Vice Mayor. Uh, committee reports, please. Council Member Hunt. Public Works uh, voted to defer uh, Bill 2011-4 for one meeting. 11-0. Thank you, Council Member McGuire. Thank you, Vice Mayor. Budget and, fans, uh, budget and Finance voted to defer one meeting, 12-4, none against. Council Member Stanley. I move to uh, defer one meeting with a couple of brief comments. We have a motion and a second. Councilman. Uh, thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I just want you to understand that uh, uh, when we adopted the stormwater management master plan in uh, 2001, uh, one of the things that uh, was required of Metro Nashville Water Services, the stormwater division of water services, was, was to provide an annual report to all the council members. And there are, there, uh, there have been, there has been two annual reports. Both of them have been massive in size. I would just like a quarterly report each report would be one-fourth the size of what uh, we're looking at right now. And I would like to, it to include a list of the stormwater projects by council district to make sure that certain council districts or certain areas, suburban communities of Davidson County are not receiving money where other council districts should. Number two, I would like to have uh, the projected stormwater cost of each project. And I'd like to have, uh, number three, is I would like to have their priority, how they prioritize these projects. Because I've been in touch with stormwater numerous times and they've informed me that these projects, they've reviewed, they put them on their list, but they're way down on the priority list. Well, I'll let everyone know that District 14, we have floodplain uh, ordinance, we have floodplain land all throughout District 14, as well as backup in stormwater flow, ditches, things like that. 
I want this to be more accessible to representatives of this city because we have obligation to the citizens that put us in this office to provide them when they contact us with information regarding uh, any stormwater pro projects. Um, I'm going to work with John Kennedy and with Tom Palco of Water Services. I'm going to get the information to Walter Hunt, the chair of the uh, uh, Public Works Committee. I appreciate uh, his understanding of this issue. But I think that this is something that needs to be addressed because I was one of only four council members in 1996 that was appointed to the Stormwater Management Task Force that addressed, that adopted a stormwater management master plan. It was me, there was Leo Waters, there was Charlie Fentress, and there was Don Majors. That was it. But I worked with Tom Palco, we worked with Tom Palco of Public Works and with numerous other uh, agencies and departments of Metro Nashville to have this thing addressed as soon as possible because at that time Metro Nashville had no plan whatsoever. And cities similar in size to Metro Nashville were spending anywhere from 20 to 40 million dollars a year on stormwater projects. I want to make sure that if Metro is going to spend this money, this is public money that comes out of everyone's monthly uh, water bill, that that money is used correctly. They have an obligation to provide us with information regarding this, this money, where this money is going and what projects are being addressed. If they refuse to do this, um, that's going to be unacceptable. But they have not refused and I'm looking forward to working with them. Thank you. Any other discussion on the motion to defer? All in favor, please say aye. Aye. Opposed, no. The motion to defer passes. BL 2011-5 names the Nashville Municipal Auditorium as the Musicians Hall of Fame and Museum at the Nashville Municipal Auditorium. Councilmember Gilmore. Thank you, Vice Mayor. Committee reports. Councilman Tigert. Convention and Tourism approved five and zero. Councilmember McGuire. Budget and Finance voted to approve 12-4, none against. Councilmember Gilmore. I move uh, for approval with a brief explanation. Okay. Is there a second? Thank you. I just wanted to say I think this will be a great asset to our city, the Musicians Hall of Fame. There were a couple of questions that came up in the committee that I just wanted to kind of clarify that I thought would be good for the public. One is, um, would the city assume the cost? The uh, Musicians Hall of Fame are investing all of their own monies, uh, so it will not be any cost to the cities and all the other operations of the city, uh, the different events that are being held now, they have been accommodated and also will be opening up at the beginning of the year and it will have different uh, memorabilia and relics um, from different time periods uh, there. So we look forward to doing that. And as it relates to the signage, someone asked about the signage and the naming. It will be the Musicians Hall of Fame at the Municipal Auditorium, and it won't be any cost to the city. So I would um, move for approval. Thank you. All in favor, please say aye. Aye. Opposed, no. Thank you. Motion passes. BL 2011-6 authorizes the Director of Public Property Administration to acquire four parcels of property required for the construction of a new police precinct on 12th Avenue South. Councilmember Moore. Committee reports, please. Councilmember Claiborne. Planning is only voted 10-0 to approve. Councilmember Stites. I'm sorry, what are we on? 2011-6. Uh, Public safety voted 6-4-0 against. Council Member McGuire. He was doing so well too. Budget and finance voted to approve 12-4, <laughs> none against. Council Member Moore. <laughs> I have a brief comment. Do you uh, want to make a motion? <laughs> Do you want to make a motion <laughs> Make first? a motion to move for approval. <laughs> we have a motion and a second. Council Member Moore. I just want to say that this is going to be a welcome addition to the South Nashville area and the constituents who it's going to serve, especially the, neighbor, the surrounding neighborhoods, and looking forward to, the, um, to this new pre police precinct. <laughs> Thank you, Vice Mayor. All in favor, please say aye. aye. Opposed, no. Motion passes. 
BL 2011-7 abandons an 8-inch sanitary sewer line and easement rights on a portion of property located at 3308 John Mallet Drive between Manchester Avenue and South Hamilton Road. Council Member Harrison. Thank you, Vice Mayor. Committee report, please. Council Member Claiborne. It's all right, Councilman Sykes. I missed my first cue tonight also, so sorry. Uh, planning and zoning uh, voted 10-0 to approve. Council Member Hunt. Public Works approved 11 0 against. Council Member Harrison. Thank you, and I move for approval. Have a motion and a second. All in favor, please say aye. Aye. Opposed, no. Motion passes. BL 2011A demands a 240 feet of combination sewer main on property located at 220 25th Avenue North and accepts 500 feet of a relocated main. Council Member Hunt. Committee reports, please. Council Member Claiborne. Planning and zoning voted 10 0 to approve. Council Member Hunt. Public Works approved 11 4 0 against, and I move for approval. We have a motion and a second. All in favor, please say aye. Opposed, no. Motion passes. BL 2011-9 authorizes Metro government to enter into an agreement with First Citizens National Bank to fund the operation and maintenance of a public pressure sewer extension at Cambridge Park. Council Member Hunt. Committee reports, please. Council Member Claiborne. Planning and zoning voted 10-0 to approve. Council Member Hunt. Public Works approve 11 4 0 against, and I move for approval. Have a motion and a second. All in favor, please say aye. Aye. Opposed, no. Motion passes. <clears throat> BL 2011 10 approves two agreements with Vanderbilt University for the participation and clinical training of medical students and residents in the Metro Fire Department's first responder and ambulance and rescue programs. Council Member Langster. Thank you, Vice Mayor. Committee report, please. Council Member Seitz. I'm ready. Six, six, uh, the, the committee voted to approve six in favor, zero against. Thank you. Council Member Langster. I'll move for approval, please. Motion and a second. All in favor, please say aye. Aye. Opposed, no. Motion passes. BL 2011-11 abandons a sanitary sewer line and easement and accepts the relocation of a sanitary sewer line and easement on property located at 306 Gallatin Pike. Council Member Pridemore. Thank you, Vice Mayor. Uh, committee reports. Council Member Claiborne. Planning and zoning voted 10-0 to approve. Council Member Hunt. Public Works approved 11-4-0 against. Move. Council Member Pridemore. Move for approval. Have a motion and a second. All in favor, please say aye. aye. Opposed, no. Motion passes. <clears throat> BL 2011-12 amends the official street and alley acceptance and maintenance map by abandoning a portion of Clay Street, 5th Avenue North, 6th Avenue North, and alley number 207. Council Member Langster. Thank you, Vice Mayor. I signed this for Councilman Harrison if he could uh, handle the bill tonight. Councilmember Harrison. Thank you, Vice Mayor. Uh, see, um, traffic and park and approve 4-0 against. Councilmember Claiborne. Planning and zoning voted 10-0 to approve. Councilmember Hunt. Public Works approve 11-4-0 against. Councilmember Harrison. Thank you. I move for approval. Have a motion and a second. All in favor, please say aye. aye. Opposed, no. Motion passes. <clears throat> BL 2011-13 amends the official street and alley acceptance and maintenance map by abandoning a portion of alley number 908 right away. Council Member Langster. Thank you. Could I have committee reports, please? Council Member Claiborne. Planning and zoning voted 10-0 to approve. Council Member Hunt. Public Works approve 11 4 0 against. Council Member Harrison. Traffic and Park and approve 4 4 and 0 against. Council Member Langster. Thank you. Move for approval, please. We have a motion and a second. All in favor, please say aye. Aye. Opposed, no. Motion passes. BL 2011 14 amends the official street and alley acceptance and maintenance map by abandoning a portion of John Hager Road right away. Council Member Glover. 
Committee reports. Thank you, Vice Mayor. Uh, Council Member Hunt. Public Works approved 1140 against. Council Member Harrison. Traffic and parking approved 740 against. Council Member Claiborne. Planning and zoning voted 1040 against. Council Member Glover. Move approval. I have a motion and a second. All in favor, please say aye. Aye. Opposed, no. Motion passes. BL 2011 15 amends the official street and alley acceptance and maintenance map by abandoning a portion of alley number 436, an unnumbered alley right of way. Council Member Allen. Thank you, Vice Mayor. Committee reports, please. Council Member Hunt. Public Works approved 1140 against. Council Member Harrison. Traffic in the park approved 740 against. Council Member Claiborne. Planning and zoning voted 10 0 to approve. Council Member Allen. Thank you. I move for approval. Have a motion and a second. All in favor, please say aye. Aye. Opposed, no. Motion passes. The 2011 16 amends the official street and alley acceptance and maintenance map by changing the name of Centennial Place to Wayne Wise Place. Council Member Baker. Thank you, Madam Vice Mayor. Committee reports, please. Council Member Hunt. Public Works approve 1140 guests to defer to the second meeting in November. Council Member Harrison. Thank you, Madam Chairman. The uh, traffic and parking at the request of a sponsor uh, uh, approve a deferral until the second week in November. Council Member Claiborne. Planning and zoning voted to 10 uh, 0 to defer to the second uh, meeting of November. Thank you, Council Member Baker. Move to defer our second meeting in November. Have a motion and a second. All in favor of the deferral motion, please say aye. Aye. Opposed, no. Motion passes. We're now at memorializing resolutions. It is RS 2011-63, request the Davidson County Delegation of the Tennessee General Assembly to support legislation to require metro government authorities and agencies created under state law to condition the payment of governmental funds to contractors doing work in Davidson County upon proof of valid business tax license issued by the Davidson County Clerk. Council Member Tiger. Committee reports, please. Council Member McGuire. Thank you, Vice Mayor. At the request of the sponsor, Budget and Finance voted to defer, I believe it was one meeting, 12 4, none against. Council Member Tiger. Convention and Tourism approved 5 and 0. I move to defer one meeting. We have a motion for a one meeting deferral. All in favor, please say aye. aye. Opposed, no. Is there a motion to adjourn? All in favor, please say aye. aye. 